Many of you may know her as the talented actress from shows like A Different World, the Once Upon a Time BFF of Tupac Shakur, Will Smith's wife, and as of late, and more notably, for spilling the tea about her family issues and secrets unprovoked on her ongoing Facebook series, Red Table Talk. Despite her lengthy resume and the entertainment side of things, fans and those curious enough to care are always left with their jaws wide open when they discover that Jada was once in a heavy metal new rock band that goes by the name Wicked Wisdom. Formed by Jada herself back in 2002, the band went on to release two albums and even opened for acts like Britney Spears during the European leg of her Onyx Hotel tour back in 2004. I know you're probably wondering, well how heavy metal can they be if they're opening for Britney Spears? Listen, we'll get more on that later in the video. The band had quite a rocky start and Jada, being the high profiled actress that she is, made metalheads and non-metalheads alike downplay her authenticity in the genre. Performing at huge heavy metal music festivals like Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne's now defunct Ozfest, Wicked Wisdom was met with quite the backlash and were even booed off stage more times than not. Many claiming that the band's sound wasn't real heavy metal and some even stating that Jada and her majority POC band faced the backlash due to their race. Nevertheless, Jada said, I'm not new to this, I'm true to this, and went on to perform with her band in venues and stages around the world with Will Smith as her cheerleader, supportive husband, as well as on late night talk shows with David Letterman and The Tonight Show. With Jada being THE Jada Pinkett Smith, it comes to no surprise that people are always surprised when they find out about her musical endeavor of choice. But like they say, your kids are a reflection of you. And seeing the musical route daughter Willow Smith has taken, it all makes sense. So just how much of this new metal ensemble thrived at a time where not being politically correct is the norm? The idea of dipping her big toe into the mid-metal pool came about sometime in 2002, after pondering on ways to express her musical chop. Now, although this wasn't some newfound phenomenon of going from playing a role on television to dabbling in a music career, I mean, her husband did it the other way around, but dabbling into heavy metal subgenre like new metal, which fuses heavy metal with other elements like hip hop, alternative, and others, had folks in pure confusion. Intrigued, yet confused. The Wicked Wisdom members consisted of frontwoman Jada as lead vocalist, Cameron Graves, Pocket Honor, Real Lawrence, and then on again, off again member, Kareel Tanador, and Philip Fish Fisher, who metal fans may know from the band Fishbone. Their debut album, My Story, was released in 2004, and Jada, being the out of the box free thinker that she is, decided to amp the new metal sound and combine the traditional metal sound with neo soul, R&B, funk fusion styled elements instead of its traditional hip hop fused elements that were popular during that time. To promote their album, the group, with the help of Jada's connections, landed a slot on the 2004 Britney Spears Onyx Hotel Tour. Given their first set of release songs that left out the heavy in heavy metal, the group's sets spanning over the eight show dates were more tamed compared to their later work. Headlining the most high profile tour of 2004, Wicked Wisdom garnered some recognition and went on to do shows in other music festivals. Overall, the album just didn't grasp the attention of their core listeners to which, well, to which no one even knew who their core listeners were at this point. By the time their second album, self-titled album, Wicked Wisdom, came out in February 2006, the group discarded and dropped their first album like a bad habit. While performing at LA's notorious Viper Room, the band was spotted by Sharon Osbourne, wife of Black Sabbath frontman Ozzy Osbourne, and took a liking to the group. Three days would go by before Jada and co got a phone call from Sharon, asking if they'd like to join Ozfest, a heavy metal festival founded by Ozzy after another act had dropped out. Given the notoriety of the event, this was a huge opportunity for Wicked Wisdom to showcase their music across a diverse group of metal fans. But when it was announced that they'd be performing on the OzFest website, a swarm of fans of the festival weren't thrilled, leaving comments like, if they open for Britney Spears, then they must suck, and Wicked Wisdom will be pelted by every loose object on the OzFest grounds. 
The atmosphere surrounding the band's appearance leading up to their very first performance wasn't building the repertoire they had hoped, and Jada began to second guess herself, wondering if her band's sound was heavy enough for the hardcore music fans in attendance. Nevertheless, Jada persevered like the boss she is. With Will watching from behind the stage, Jada went on to perform her set and like expected, the audience wasn't feeling the Matrix actress. She was greeted with relentless booing, f-bombs, you suck chants, topped off with extended middle fingers. She's quoted saying that the first six shows were really rough, but contrary to their very rough beginnings, by the time the seventh show came around, the crowd began to loosen up, even forming several mosh pits during their performance. It's no secret that heavy metal and rock bands alike have been predominantly uh, non-POC friendly since the late 60s. Given the stereotypical stamp of heavy metal fans being a bunch of Nazi-loving skinheads, race and racism were brought up during an interview with David Carr of the LA Daily News. When Jada was probed about claims of racism being a factor as to why her band wasn't being well received by the general public, she responded by saying that racism wasn't more so the issue. Matter of fact, it was a very small issue throughout the tour. The biggest issue was the fact that I was an actress and people thought I had no business being on this tour. On a certain level, I can understand that issue. That was the work that had to be done. We had to prove ourselves. Wicked Wisdom, the album, went on to be in the top 50 of the Billboard's Heat Seeker charts, reaching number 44. And no, I'm not just making up chart names. Despite none of their singles cracking into, well, into anything, the band did garner a little fan base, mostly from the pop rock and new metal crowd. When asked about the establishment of her group, Jada said that she grew up in the 80s where heavy metal and rock were the equivalent to how popular rap music is nowadays. Listening to bands like Metallica and Guns N' Roses for reference, she also noticed a lack of female presence in the rock and metal genres at the time and decided to bring her rock star fantasy to life. The band took a lengthy hiatus and changed their name to Wicked Evolution, which was short-lived, till it was announced by Afropunk Festival in 2013 that Wicked Wisdom were making its return to the stage in Brooklyn, New York. The band warmed up the crowd before an energetic Jada came out, starting the set off with their song, Yesterday Don't Mean, and probably their most popular song to date, Bleed All Over Me. Eight years later, during a Mother's Day episode on her Facebook series, Red Table Talk, daughter Willow surprised her mama with a video showing the behind the scenes process of Willow meeting up with Jada's old bandmates, as well as mini clips of Jada's stint as a front woman. The cherry on top was when Willow led her mom outside, where she was met with a stage setup, her band members, and Willow herself strapping on a guitar before breaking out into a rendition of Wicked Wisdom's Bleed All Over Me. A hyped up Jada could be seen rocking out to her daughter's tribute. The overall moment being so heartwarming, one can't help but become emo while viewing. That is after they get past THE Jada Pinkett Smith being in a metal rock band since the ongoing discovery of her musical past seems to be recurring games of forget and remember every so and so years. Despite bandmate Rio Lawrence passing away in 2020, Wicked Wisdom continues to be a functioning band, even if it is to link up to perform every decade or so. Regarding the Wicked Wisdom hate mob, Willow told official and alt 98.7 FM radio that she witnessed her mom face death threats and racism, but that seeing her not back down from the hate inspired her and set a fantastic example for herself. With Willow coming out with her recent pop-punk indie-inspired album, Lately I Feel Everything, and her biggest hit from the album, Transparent Soul, Transparent Soul. featuring Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker, it's safe to say that the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. She definitely is her mother's child. Did any of this surprise you? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more True Celebrity Stories.